Hello everyone. Today we are going to watch a video that explains the hardships that come with shopping for clothes when you are plus sized. It's quite a doozy, so let's begin. It's just, it's so disheartening. So my friend who's, I think maybe like a size kind of 16 mm -hmm. had tons of stuff to try and yeah. beautiful things. And I ended up doing what I often do when I start shop with more straight size people is like, Oh, let me look at the scarf or the purses, <laughs> the yeah, purses. Go to the jewelry, <laughs> right? <laughs> look at this hat. It's well, so cute. Oh, and I just got so grumpy in it. This was one of the stores yeah. where the salespeople, I just took it out on the salespeople, which having been a salesperson before was not yeah. okay. But I was so mad because they kept coming up and asking me stuff. And I said, no, you have nothing in this store that fits my body. No, yes, we do. So I said, no, you don't let me show you. And then I just kind of I tried to educate people who are not interested at all in being educated and who won't report it up. I was like, I'm happy to talk to the manager about why this doesn't work. No, no, yeah. no, they're not here. But like just the exhaustion of it. For me, this is the part that always really pisses me off is the emotional labor that I constantly have to perform to just do regular things. Yeah. Mm. So in this video, the woman talking, her name is Sophia, is complaining about how hard it is to shop for clothes in her size at brick and mortar stores. But she admittedly went off on the retail workers because she was frustrated, even though all the employees were trying to do was help her. And this story reminds me of this TikTok. Woman walks up holding a shirt. Hey, you ready to check out? Obviously I'm making a return, but yeah, I'm ready. Oh, sorry. I just thought, I mean, we got those shirts in yesterday. You know what? My bad. Yeah. Sorry. I can go ahead and process that for you. Okay. And what was the reason for the return? Are you kidding? Um, no, the computer asked me that question. Why was there something wrong with it? Was it defective? No, sweetie. It didn't fit. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Well, I can go check in the back, see if there's any additional sizes, if you know what size you're looking for. I thought you said you got these shirts in yesterday. Are you hiding plus size stock in the back? No, it was honestly just gonna be a courtesy check. Is that why you don't see a single plus size item on the floor here? You don't want me shopping here? Is my fat body ruining your image? What? No, corporate doesn't send us any plus size stuff. So the only thing that we get in is gonna be customer returns, but I'm more than happy to bring out a rack for you of everything in your size if you wanna look. Why are you laughing? Is there something funny about me wanting to shop in your precious little store? I'm so sorry. I laugh when I'm nervous. There's nothing funny. Well, if you have all this stock you could bring me, why isn't it out on the floor for everyone? So corporate has us wait until there's enough of it and then we bring it all out at once and that'll include any customer returns, not just plus size. Corporate, corporate, corporate. You're a little corporate drone, huh? If you actually cared, you'd have that out all the time. I 100% agree that all of our stores should have plus size stock, but unfortunately it just isn't up to me. <laughs> All I hear is talking, but no solutions. So I'll give you one. You could tell your boss to order some. It's not up to her either. We never know what we're being sent until we open the box. Well, I'll show you just how easy it is to make change by getting you fired. What's your name? Ramona. Last name? No. I immediately thought of this TikTok after watching this woman complain about her shopping experience. And I don't know exactly how this scenario went down with Sophia in her story, but the similarities between what she said and what happened in the skit are very noticeable. The back and forth of the employee trying to help the woman find her size, the entitled woman complaining that her size isn't out on the floor, the employee explaining that it isn't her choice what clothes get put on the rack, the entitled woman threatening to escalate this problem to the manager. It's all very similar. And there was the section in the original video where Sophia says that she spent time trying to educate people that had no interest in being educated. <sighs> Ma'am, these people are doing their jobs. They aren't there to be educated. This is like a missionary walking into American Eagle and trying to tell the employees how sinful it is to have bras and underwear displayed out in the open. Hi, how can I help you? 
Do you know that you have mannequins with just bras on them? Uh, yeah, that's our undergarment section. So we have the bras and underwear on display. Having those garments out in the open is a sin. It's sinful. You can't have the young boys seeing that type of thing. Well, I don't control what items we put out, and that section is all the way in the back. It's pretty easy to walk right by it. Do you not understand the lustful thoughts those garments bring out in young, impressionable men? They're already struggling in a world that pushes sexual images around every corner, with all the girls walking around wearing crop tops and skimpy swimsuits, and those tight red leggings with the high waist and the cutouts on the side and the heart-shaped pattern on the butt area that they insist on parading to and from the grocery store every single day in while I- Sir? And your store isn't helping by leaving these intimate items out for everyone to see. As I said, I don't have control of what goes out on display. Can I speak to your manager? This whole situation of this woman trying to educate helpless retail workers reminds me of when some dudes complain that their waitress or bartender won't give them their number or go on a date with them after talking to and being friendly to him all night. But being nice and conversing with customers is their job. And just because these workers have to be professional and have to talk to you, that isn't licensed to proselytize to them, educate them, or demand dates with them. And trying to do those things is just taking advantage of workers that don't have the ability to tell you to shut up and F off. But the last part of the original video, Sophia says that the world doesn't understand the emotional labor she has to put in to shop for clothing. And I'm assuming that by emotional labor, she's talking about the time and energy she spent trying to educate the retail workers about her plus size struggle. That's the only thing that really makes sense in this context. And what a way to end an already entitled story. She is struggling to find and purchase excess clothing, which is already a first world problem. And then she gets angry and lashes out at a retail worker, threatens to talk to their manager, and then paints herself as the victim because she had to go through the harrowing struggle of forcibly educating helpless retail workers about her first world problems. Beautiful. Um, don't do this. Don't be an entitled Karen going off on retail workers or blaming them for not having items that you want. They have no control over that, and it's really just a bad look. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm interested in hearing what y'all have to say in the comments, and I'll see you in my next video.